Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electronics Media. In this video, I'm going to explain about edge detection techniques. So, edge detection is basically used for you know uh, converting a level signal into a pulse. So, in your designs, mostly you will encounter where you need to cover convert a level signal into a pulse signal. It's, it, it depends on the use case. Okay, so you can generate a you know level a pulse signal on the you know uh, positive edge of this uh, signal uh, of the a level signal or you can also uh, you know detect a pulse on the negative edge of that level signal so in so i'm going to explain both the techniques the positive edge detection as well as the negative edge detection so it, the idea is very simple so what you need to do is you need to ensure that take positive edge detection okay and the negative edge Okay, so the idea is you have a signal, so that is your uh, a signal which is like this. Okay, now you want to detect the edge that is changing from zero to one. So in order to do so, what you need to do is you have this signal, you feed it to the uh, flop. Okay, uh, any simple D flop. So what happens is when you feed it to the D flop. So it gets delayed by one clock cycle. Okay, D flop is a delay flop, so which gets delayed by one cycle, one clock cycle. Okay, now you will have the signal delayed like this. So what happens? So you can see there is a delay over here. Okay, so this is my delay. So now you use this window, okay, to capture the you know pulse. So what will I do is I will use this signal A, and this is my uh, I'll write it as a QA okay uh, so and my output will be like this something like this okay so my this is my signal which is a, a signal A now I will and with what I will do I'll and with not of this QA so essentially what it means is in this this is the window where I'm going to capture my signal so how does my output looks like it's going to be a level signal in it's a, it's going to be a pulse like this on this Understood? so this is the positive edge detection technique so similarly on the if i want to capture a negative edge negative edge is changing from 1 to 0 this is 1 and this is my 0 so it's changing from 1 to 0 so what i will do i'll just again feed the same signal to my flop again uh, this uh, d flop and then it gets delayed so it's my this signal so now instead of using a negative uh, negated version of this qa what i'll do is i'll use negated version of this signal a so that means so this is my signal a okay this is my signal a and it with this is my uh, qa output right so this is my qa so essentially what happens this is my output of the falling edge so in this video, in this window, so we will get a pulse. This is the positive edge detection and this is a negative edge detection. Okay. So uh, if I want to draw a flop and uh, in terms of the gates, right, so I will just uh, put that also. So this is my signal A, okay, this is going to a flop, this is my D, this is my QA, and this is my clock, okay. Now what I will do is, what we did for the posterior direction, we are going to uh, invert this Q signal, and then we are ending them. This is my output. This is a positive edge detection circuit. Okay. Similarly, if you want to do a, a negative edge detection, so feed this signal A to a flop. Now, here I'm going to invert the signal A. And then I'm ending these signals 
to get my output. So this is a negative edge detection. This is my passage detection technique. I hope this is clear to you guys. So basically we are going to use this technique to convert a level signal into a pulse signal. So that's all about the edge detection techniques. Thank you.